Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, no, it's neither of those things. It's something much, much different. What it is, folks, is Superman, and this time he's black. Yeah. Let's talk about the little, the, the latest wokery infesting the uh, super superhero uh, scene, so to speak. And comes the news this morning that, and this is of course steeped in racism as far as I'm concerned, because I don't think we should be discriminating against anyone on the basis of color. But uh, the next Superman will be black. Yes. The new superhero movie um, coming from, I think, Warner Brothers will feature a black lead character, a black director, and a black script writer. Oh, right. So well, that's all done on the basis of merit, is it? Or is, this, is it done on the basis of skin color? Because if that was done on the basis of skin color, that would, of course, not just be identitarian bollocks, but it would also be racist, wouldn't it? But anyway, no one cares about ra racism, as we all know, is, is, uh, is a very particular thing. Um, so it talks about the fact that uh, this guy here, I want to talk, Tennessee Coates, <clears throat> he's what this article amusingly calls the acclaimed novelist who expanded the world of Wakanda for Marvel Comics. Is also, he's going to write the script and then turn it into, what, give it over to Warner Brothers in December. And it will be the first time that a black Superman will appear in a big screen. It will not be new, but the media is quick to point out that, oh, look, back in 2009, a character called Calvin Ellis. Here's Calvin. Here we go. Calvin Ellis uh, was first introduced back in back then as a Superman from an alternative universe, right? I think it's going to have to be that uh, probably uh, Clark Kent becomes Superman from an alternative universe um, if that universe isn't about woke identity politics. And so it's all about uh, essentially the character from Earth-23 where his civilian identity is also the president of the United States. <laughs> we are getting this one. The book creator, Grant Morrison, said he was inspired by Barack Obama when he created the character. So just in summary, the new Superman, right? The new Superman, Calvin Ellis, he's U.S. president, he's Superman, and he's black and because... The writer was inspired by Barack Obama. Gosh, could you imagine if they had a, a superhero inspired by Donald Trump? Could you imagine the salty tears coming from these same liberal ciphers who push this trash upon us? Now, of course, you could say, well, what's wrong with having a black Superman? Well, in theory, nothing. But by the same token, what's wrong with having a brown Superman? or a yellow Superman, or a Superman of various other kinds of forms of ethnicity. Why does it have to be a black Superman? And also, by the way, I do think that the fact that this is, you know, they're actually boasting about, I mean, this is sheer uh, pandering. Uh, the, the fact that this this here is being praised, black, a black lead actor, a black director, a black scrum, screenwriter, I mean, if you substituted the words white, that would be that you'd be castigated for saying it. But yet these clowns get away with it. And they think that, you know, that uh, and, and this guy back to Tennessee Coates, by the way, this guy is going through the Marvel. If I can just get this without the women. Uh, hang on. This guy is causing chaos in the Marvel universe because he's again, everything he touches turns to rust. He is King Midas in reverse when it comes to the Marvel Universe. And Marvel itself has become, certainly since it's been swallowed up by, um, by Disney, so woke. So, for example, we have a gay Captain America. We have a black Spider-Man. Um, you know, we've got just identity politics. We've got gay characters being introduced. I think we've got the first trans character introduced. And, and to my mind, this fundamentally portrays the betrays the original vision of people like Stan Lee and Jack Kirby. I'll be honest, I was a big fan of Marvel Comics growing up in the 1960s into the early 70s. That was kind of a golden era. And yes, the characters were flawed. It wasn't about their skin color, though. It was about their humanity. I couldn't care less who the writers were, who the artists were drawing the comics. Didn't matter. It was about having a good story that people could relate to. But these people seem to really think that you can only relate on the basis of skin color. And I think that makes them racist. 
I, I actually think, by the way, if they do the, if this goes ahead, and I'm sure it will do, it will be a mega flopperoo. And if, because people by and large don't want to see this kind of stuff, you know, people, um, people just want to see good stories. They don't want to have identity politics shoved down their throat. And of course, this doesn't stop them from doing it. And because they, they do this kind of stuff and because they're so woke and because they're so determined to push it, things like this happen. Oh, look, Batwoman report, reportedly cancelled after season three because they made black Batwoman a black Batwoman. And then, because that wasn't woke enough, they made her a lesbian black Batwoman. And I'm sorry, but which that may excite certain types in Hollywood, Average people look at that and go shrugs and say, what has this got to do with the, uh, if you like, the Batman uh, mythology? It's got nothing to do. Although I'm sure Batman will also get the treatment, by the way, in, in due course. So it's sad to see, if you like, these uh, escapist fantasies of superhero universes, be it the Marvel uh, universe or be it the DC universe, um, being given this blatant racist identitarian treatment which excites certain people i reckon it'll absolutely die at the, bo at the box box office you know they, they, they pushed the whole black panther uh movie really really hard and it was a big financial success i will agree i i, I will admit that it's also the only marvel movie that i've not been able to watch i watched about 20 30 minutes of it thought it was absolutely ridiculous and ignored it there's nothing wrong with the character of the Black Panther, by the way, uh, T'Challa, King of Wakanda. No, no issues with that at all. But trying to just make a movie which is so obviously identitarian just annoys an awful lot of people. I don't want to see, I want to see movies where the story is prime, skin color is second. In fact, of fact, the uh, Black Panther movie was dripping in identitarian politics, as no doubt the Black Superman movie will be. But it panders to a particular group. Let's hope that group puts their pocket, their hand in their pocket and pays to see it, though. Because I suspect a lot of us will be giving this a very clear turn off. Anyway, what do you think about the news that Superman is going black? Uh, let me know in the comment thread below, and I'll speak with you folks soon.